we're going to use the ZX40 Ultra to print a two color design. In this example, we have some text and a logo, and each part is going to be printed separately so that we end up with two different foil colors on the same ribbon. To achieve this, we'll need to remove part of the design, print the other part, and then reverse that. So first of all, we're going to get rid of the logo here and just have the text in place. We'll print that out through the machine, and then we'll spool the ribbon back, remove the text, insert the logo, and print a second time. I've also added some rulers into the design, as I find this helps with the alignment. This way, when we position the design, we know that the text will need to fit in this area, and the logo will need to fit in this area. I find this particularly helpful, and one other note I would make is that you should leave a gap between each part of the design that is going to be printed in a different colour. This is good because if the registration is too close, this can lead to mistakes down the line when printing. So, we'll remove the logo, we'll send the job through to print. In this next clip, we're going to see the ribbon printer printing the two coloured design. First of all, we need to mark the ribbon so we know where to spool the ribbon back to for the second foil. You can see I'm just using a pen. I'm using the black rubber roller as my guide as it has a straight edge. We can close the lid and then print the text part of the design. In this example, I'm printing in gold. That's processed as normal, but please make sure you've selected and set up all of your print properties as you normally would. You can then open the lid and change the foil over. So, right now I'm taking out the gold foil and placing a black foil into the machine, ready for the second part of the design, which will be the logo. Once everything's in place, we can close the lid down, spool the ribbon back, and make sure that it goes back to the marked area. We can close the lid, bring back the logo into the design and remove the text, and then click print. As you can see, the first part is spooled out as normal, and now we can see the second colour.